The holidays can be challenging for millions of people living with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. Juliet Bradley is Director of Communications with the Alzheimer's Association. And Juliet, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me, Cynthia. So this is challenging in what ways? What are people uh, dealing with that are you know, caring for people sure. with Alzheimer's? Well, so this is a stressful time anyway. Yeah. So when you <laughs> combine that with someone who has dementia, you're talking about things that you need to do to simplify your holidays. So let's just make it a little easier on yourself. Mm -hmm. First thing I would say to a caregiver is just cut yourself some slack. Don't feel like you have to decorate your house to the hilt, even if you mm -hmm. really traditionally do that. And if you have dinner every Christmas on 5.30 afternoon, consider having it in the morning or earlier in the day because 5.30 in the afternoon is a really stressful time for individuals who have Alzheimer's disease. So there's yeah. lots of things caregivers can do and there's lots of things that people who are coming to visit with the individual who have Alzheimer's disease, things they need to know before they come. So if I'm a caregiver, mm -hmm. I might wanna call my sisters or my brothers and say, hey, just want you to know you haven't seen mom in a year. You might expect some behavior that you're not used to seeing she may or may not know you so I just want to give you a heads up yeah so that is planning ahead it's all about planning it is and communicating everybody being kind of on the same page to help yeah. them now how do we include the person with Alzheimer's disease in the holiday sure. how do we make them feel a part of it or connected right if maybe not so think of things that they used to like to do if mm. they love to listen to Christmas music put a little bit on you know if they liked to make Christmas cookies there's still things they can do to help you out you know maybe it's using the cookie cutter or maybe it's helping to decorate there are definitely things that you can do to include them you just don't want to over stimulate them mm -hmm. and lots of lights and Christmas action and big time music that can be over stimulating so just keep it simple and a little quiet and if you're going to have a bunch of people over for the holidays maybe consider having a little quiet room where they can go and just get away from it for a few minutes if they need to and as a caregiver it's in, it's important that I watch them and make sure that they're not getting overstimulated and give them an opportunity to take a break if they want one. So kind of just describe for us you know what families are experiencing this time of year. Sure well I think it's more than anything you know you expect everything to be like it used to be. Right. And unfortunately, it's not. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're the person who used to send out 100 Christmas cards, right. take a year off. Don't oh. feel like you have to do that. Yeah. You know, and if you're the one who is giving gifts to everyone, don't worry about that. Choose two or three people, do the gift giving, and just be settled with that. So, you know, really just don't have such high expectations of yourself. And caregivers need help. They need assistance. Caregivers, they need somebody to stand alongside them. They do, but the issue with caregivers is typically they don't, they don't want to accept care because they're the caregiver. Mm. So instead of calling and saying, what do you need? Say, you know, I'm making banana bread today and I'm gonna make an extra loaf and bring it to you tomorrow. Yeah, don't don't wait to be asked. Exactly. Just jump in exactly. and help. That is great yeah. advice and, yeah. and some really great ways that we can really make the holidays happier yeah, hopefully. and inclusive for everyone. Hopefully. There. All right, thanks so much for coming and sharing. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back.